Hickok 45 here. We're about to treat you with a scientific experience. You know, we've done a couple of those. <laughs> Uh, we've had the idea of doing this. I think a couple of you have even recommended it uh, sometime through the years of trying a lot of different bullets, cartridges on the shooting tree, just to see what, how hard one bullet hits or one cartridge hits over another caliber firearm. Okay. You see it in videos kind of randomly, of course, depending on what firearm we're reviewing or shooting at the time. But now that we got one kind of balanced out because this one is balanced and I've got it set right, I think, and it, it seems to work beautifully. So we're going to uh, do that finally, all right? Uh, it just sounded like fun to me, to tell you the truth. And uh, that kind of uh, is the uh, motivation on a lot of videos. So we're gonna shoot it. This has nothing to do with you know, the best self-defense round necessarily or any that kind of thing. It's just how they hit the steel and how much impact they had. And I wanted to walk down here to start it to kind of give you an idea. You know, it is a 3 8 inch piece of steel. So if, it, if a, something hits it and it doesn't move much, well, you know, it's not a powder puff. It's got some thickness to it. And so it doesn't mean it wouldn't hurt if it hit you in the big toe, all right? So I just wanted to point that out. All right, so we're gonna go up and we've got about 10 firearms out here and about 15 or 18 different cartridges or something like that. Uh, so quickly what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with 22. We're gonna move right on up. We got all those pretty firearms that I have to clean. So you guys might not be worth this. I don't know. Yeah, you are. I like to shoot one of these yellow jackets, John. You care if I start out by just shooting him? Um, they're, they're all over us. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start with 22, 380, 9mm and work my way up. Again, this is not a self-defense a ballistics test, really. Okay? It's a scientific experience, like I said. So, you know, don't worry about one round. We don't have, oh, you didn't have this kind of round because it's a lot hotter than that. That's kind of irrelevant. We just want to give you an idea because a lot of you are new to shooting. You might not even know the difference between a 380 and a 9mm in power, that kind of thing. So... By doing it step by step, we thought maybe it'd be interesting to some of you, okay? So, without further ado, we're going to start with uh, 22, just some CCI standard ammo in there. And I'm going to try to hit the things, all right? And I've, got, I've got these guns loaded, okay? In the interest of time, we went ahead and loaded all of them. All right, this might be a little random, but here we go. Oh, I hit it, good. Hit that one too. I was afraid with the 22 might not move it. Okay, so there you go. Read into it what you will. All right, that's what a 22 does, long rifle. Okay, look at all these guns I've got to clean, John. All right, uh, 380, okay, little LCP. See if I can hit it with that. Now what I've got in it to start with, I'm gonna do that kind of across the board. I'm gonna start out with standard range ammo. It's got uh, 95 grain American Eagle in it. Then I'm gonna put some uh, HST in, okay? after we tried the standard ammo, the standard range ammo. And some people carry that anyway, just hardball. All right, now let's see if I can hit it. You know what, I don't think I had my ears on during that last shoot. That's why that 22 was louder than I remembered. All right, see if I can hit the things. Let's put a round in the chamber and make it easier. Okay, looks like it, that magazine's trying to act weird on me. All right, I'll have to check that out later. All right, now, so that was just standard uh, American Eagle. Let's try some HST, see if there's any difference. Wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> it disappeared. Well, well, that surprised me a little bit, I'll have to say. I've got another mag, but I guess we don't need it. Huh, interesting. Well, let's go ahead and shoot it. Why not, since I have it. Uh, interesting. I, that's what I carry. Glad I do when I carry this. So, pops it pretty hard. Harder than I uh, thought or remembered. Okay, so that was HST. Okay, 
now we move up to nine millimeter and since it's a nine maybe the most popular round out there uh we got imagine that a glock 19 and uh i'm gonna start out with uh what we already have in it is 115 grain 115 grain okay full metal jacket standard uh, uh american eagle okay and then because uh it is such a popular caliber and uh generally everything seems to be almost 115 or 124 and then you got 147 we're going to shoot all all those weights okay so just three different ones though so we'll start out with i'll put that one in my pocket oh, no it's this one here this has 124 grain okay so i'll put that in my pocket so we'll have those two with me all right so let's shoot the 115 grain standard range ammo american eagle <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to keep shooting till it's empty. Might not be necessary. Okay, 124. See if there's any difference. <clears throat> or that we notice it. <laughs> Can't expect it to run out of ammo. All right, so that's... Uh, for what that's worth i'll have to look at the video to to kind of judge some of that myself now we've got some uh hst and this is 147 grain okay plus p 147 grain plus p And that's my preferred carry ammo. It and gold dotters is wonderful. Okay? So, hope you're keeping up now and you're listening. You can always go back. You can cheat and rewind, right? Okay, so that's the nine. All right, so whatever that tells you. Now, 40. I've shot a lot of 40 lately. Now, in the gun, we have 180 grain full metal jacket. And then we're going to shoot some HST right here. Okay? I'll put that one in my pocket. So... The old Glock 23, uh, American Eagle. Okay. Boy, I'd like to shoot some of these yellow jackets. All right, here we got the HST going in. So whatever you can tell about that. It's like both of them knocked it around pretty well. Okay, another one I don't shoot very often. 357 SIG. We're starting with 125 grain full metal jacket. Then we'll go to some. Now this is one of the off-brand, uh, but it's defensive ammo. I think it's Winchester. I didn't say that. But I'll put that in my pocket. And I doubt there'll be a lot of difference. Because the 357 SIG hits pretty hard. We'll see. It's also pretty loud. Hey, this is fun. I guess because I like shooting. I really could have done this with about six rounds, I guess, in each magazine, but that would have been less fun. <laughs> I get to shoot more this way. Okay, so that was HST on the last one there. All right, so we're moving right along. Now we're up to the 45. Thought I'd bring out the Series 80, my old Series 80. We're gonna shoot hard ball first. I'll take a couple of those just in case. And then, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I've got that one loaded with, I'll bring both of them with me. I've got, uh, as you can see here, uh, Hydroshock. Okay, we're gonna shoot standard, a 230 grain American Eagle, and then some Hydroshock. All right. 
45 ACP. Hey, that feels different from a Glock, John. All right, I guess that's enough of the hardball. Let's try the uh, HST or Hydroshock, yeah. I think that put one in, didn't it? All right. See if you could tell any difference there. 45 ACP. Popular cartridge. And then the Big Ten. Now in the 10, we'll start out with, again, American Eagle, 180 grain. And then we'll go to some uh, trophy bonded. That's some serious rounds. All right. See if the 10 will knock them around. When's it going to run out? All right, that was uh, American Eagle, 180 grain. Here's the trophy bonded. <laughs> Eagle knocking around. <laughs> That's a good test for the target. Wow. Okay. You can tell you're shooting 10 millimeter with those. All right. So now we're into the revolver 357. So let us, we have this one loaded with just some plain old 38 special. All right. And then we're going to shoot uh, magnums and we're going to shoot, we're going to start with 38. 38 special, just plain target ammo, 158 grain round nose. They're going to shoot some uh, Plus P 38 Special, which is what I carry in it. It's what I keep in it. And I've got six of them lying right there. I'll just put them in my pocket, and I'll have them over here. Actually, I need more than six, don't I? I forgot. It's a seven-shooter. We have to at least load it fully. Now, how did that happen? Because I thought I had... Uh... No, there it is. Yeah, because I those were actually the rounds that were in the firearm. So, uh, yeah, there's the seventh one. Okay, so I got seven after all. Put them in my pocket. What else do I have in my pocket in the way? Magazine. All right. All right. Plain old 38. Round nose. I'll shoot double action, maybe. <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> a little missing. See, see, you got a good feel for that. All right, now we're going to put uh, plus P's in it. And these are not magnums, but they're 38 extra power, the plus P. They're still 38 special cartridges for the new shooters. Uh, not any longer. They're just at the upper end pressure-wise for a 38 special. All right, kind of a light magnum. All right, I'm going to cock it to make sure I can hit it. Wounded him. There you go. So it looks like with a good hit, they go on around with the plus piece. All right. Okay. Uh, and then magnums. We got to get some magnums. I have a feeling these will knock it around. I might be wrong. I don't think I am. Oh boy. Such a cleaning project I do have after this. All right. 357 Magnum. Get ready. Hold your ears, everybody. Missed on the last one. Wow. That sends them around. No question about that. Okay. That's a fun gun to shoot. One of my favorites. All right. 
So now we're up to 44 Magnum. Thought we'd start with some 44 Special. Okay. And then we'll go to Magnum. And actually, I might just put those in my pocket. So we'll be ready. There's six of those. I have a feeling those will knock it around too. So we're back to a six shooter. All right. All right. 44 Special. Should be about equivalent to a 45 ACP. Well, bear cock it. Okay, so you got a good look at that, and I think it probably is. But I won't judge. Let's put the magnums in. I better cock it to make sure I get my good hits. I mean, if I come out with a gun like this and shoot a double action a little bit, I can get uh, myself reoriented and hit about what I want to hit with it. But uh, I don't want to waste time with that on this video. All right, here we go. Magnum time. Let's <laughs> hit some steel. Get ready. Wow. Has a good trigger, it's very light. Did he shoot five or did he shoot six? There we go. So that sends them on around. <laughs> Magnum. All right. Now we're going to end up with the best 45 Colt. My glasses are getting all sweaty. It's pretty cool. It is. November and it's about 80 degrees. All right, so here we go. You saw it's a uh, standard American Eagle. All right, 45 Colt. One of my favorites. Watch you miss every one of them. Yellow jackets are trying to get me. <laughs> Click. Okay. They had five. Okay. So that tells you what that does. All right. Did I miss anything? We got them all, I think. Some of my favorite firearms and uh, favorite cartridges. Some of your favorite firearms and, and favorite cartridges, right? Uh, so, again, this has little or nothing necessarily to do with self-defense, of course. Uh, uh, you know, we're not gelatin junkies or anything like that. I, I've never really gotten into that. Mm -hmm. But I thought it might be interesting to take a look at, at what these rounds do on steel, just from a comparative standpoint. Uh, you know, 45 ACP versus 44 Magnum or, you know, uh, 357 SIG. And so you got a couple of different rounds in, in just about every one of them you know, kind of a range of piece of range ammo, and then something that's meant for self-defense, you know, whatever it was. It might not have been your favorite carry ammo, and there might be all these better carry ammos that you like. They're way hotter or not quite as hot or, you know, whatever. But at least, uh, I don't know, it gives kind of, a, kind of a look at it anyway. So anyway, again, we appreciate the, you know, shoot some steel furnishing that tree. And uh, uh, it's more fun shooting now. I've got it balanced and uh, it works, works well. So that was pretty fun. I enjoy it. I'm sorry you weren't here to help me. Life is good. Oh man, you guys watched that whole video? Well, not one to judge, but while you're here, I wanted to let you guys know about our friends over SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They're a fully accredited online distance learning program. They offer hands-on experience. They also accept GI Bill. You can get certified in gunsmithing or get an associate's degree in firearms technology. So check them out when you get a chance over at sdi.edu. Also, uh, some of the new targets you may have noticed on our range are from shootsomesteel.com. So maybe give their website a look. And also um, the vault -Tec safe that you might have seen on our shooting table. You can check those out at vault safecom Also, don't forget to check out our website, uh, hickok45.com. You can find all of our links to the different uh, social media sites that you can find us on, like full30.com. Um, the real Hickok 45 on Twitter, I mean on uh, Instagram, Hickok 45 on Twitter, 
uh, Hickok 45 on Facebook. There's also the Hickok 45 and Son YouTube channel. Um, so just go to the website and you'll find most of that stuff and our t-shirts, of course. Um, you can find our, all of our merchandise for sale there on Hickok45.com. And man, I guess you guys are going to have to find something else to watch on YouTube because that's it. That's all I have to say. Appreciate it.